Yes, villagers. Today we're going to be talking about four things that you need to have on your morning routine. That morning routine is so important because it sets and grounds the day and your attitude. If you want to find out what those are, you are in the right place. If you're new to this channel, welcome to our village. If you're a returning villager, welcome as well. So let's get into it. Welcome to Garden of the Mind, where we reduce stress, improve our health and fitness, and improve our financial IQ every episode. We must believe Most successful people have great habits, but none more important than that morning routine. We're going to share with you some things that you need in your morning routine. Tip number one, gratitude. You have to spend some time with your creator, thanking him or her for the wonderful morning that you are having, the fresh start that you are having, how you are clothed in your right mind, and you are set on your way. You have another opportunity to start it all again and make everything a little bit better than it was the day before. Gratitude is a great way to set your day in motion and give some insight to the success that you are about to have in that day. Put a little gratitude in your attitude. Tip number two, stretch. Did you ever know what the first thing a dog does after it takes a nap? Usually it's to stretch. Think about it. You've been laying in the bed for about eight hours. Your muscles have started to relax and constrict. So now it's time for you to stretch and get some oxygen inside of them and to increase your range of motion and flexibility. Stretching is one of the best ways to do it. Not to mention, it helps to bring back your youth. After you are stretched and your muscles are very relaxed and limber, there is nothing like that to make you feel young all over again. So start the day by touching your toes for 10 seconds. If you can't touch your toes, touch your knees. If you can't touch your knees, touch your thighs. But do something so that you can feel that stretch in your back for at least 10 seconds and you'll be on your way. Tip number three. Exercise. Now I'm not talking about a full-blown workout, but if you can get that in, that would be great too. I'm just talking about one thing to get your heart pumping and your blood flowing. That could be something as simple as 10 push-ups, 10 jumping jacks, or even 10 sit-ups. We're not talking about a full-blown workout. Just a little something to get your heart going. Tip number four, have a list of things to do. Now technically, although you should have this in the morning, it should really start the night before. So if you are bored throughout the day and you're daydreaming and thinking about things that you need to do, you need to start to begin to populate a list of things to do for the next day. There is nothing like having a, a list to direct the course of your day. Even if you get two out of three, that's still better than zero out of zero. Most people don't have a list of things for them to feel good about accomplishing. I mean, think about it. God has already blessed you with a whole nother day. If you have a list of things to do, now you can feel accomplished in that day. And now you have some sort of metric to know what needs to be done the following day and the following day after that. Remember, the journey of a thousand steps starts with one. If you start to create a list, you can start to chronicle exactly what steps need to be made in order for you to accomplish that journey of a thousand steps. Now, most people are saying, well, Chaka, I don't know about your mornings, but my mornings are completely crazy. Two minutes in my morning time are equivalent to five minutes throughout the rest of my day. Every day I'm running and trying to get to work at the last possible minute. Well, what I say to that is you follow the schedule. Unfortunately, it hasn't been a productive schedule. It's been a schedule that you followed every day that has you late every day. So if you can follow one schedule, then you can follow another. The new schedule or the more productive schedule should have you waking up approximately a half an hour earlier every single day. The color of your day is gonna completely change once you begin to do that. Even if you don't wake up a half an hour earlier, you wake up 20 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever time that you wake up gives you additional time more than you already have. And you already told me that two minutes of morning time is equivalent to five minutes regular time. So if you have 15 minutes of actual morning time, then that is probably equivalent to you having about 45 minutes throughout the day. 
and you can get a lot done in 45 minutes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you want to know when I post, which is Wednesday, please click on that notification bell. You get that ding on your phone, and you know that a new video is waiting for you. Please put in the comments a morning routine that completely grounds your day that you can't live without. The village would love to know about it, and so will I. And remember, thoughts are actions, words have power, and actions have consequences. I'll see you next Wednesday. I'll see you then.